Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to play Guess the Conspiracy. So this is the part of the show where Katz and I have both come up with a, a fake conspiracy uh, and there's another one which is a genuine conspiracy which people actually believe. And your job is to try and select the one which uh, is the real conspiracy. Now, I don't want to put pressure on you, but it's currently 5-3 to me and Katz. So right, okay. yeah, you, you've, got to, for the, you've got to do this for the guests. Right, here we go. Number one, large basalt rock formations such as the Devil's Tower in the US are actually the remaining tree stumps of giant petrified ancient trees. That's number one. I want that to be true. Number two. Uh, I know the game is, they're all, they're, none of these are true. Right? Well, we're, getting, the game, yeah. we're getting good at, at making them up. So, <laughs> Number two, London is actually an island off the coast of the UK that is not represented on any map and which houses the elite of the world. The city we all know as London has no real name. That's, that's number two. <laughs> that's conspiracy number two. And number three, Neptune does not exist. It was a scam to help verify the false maths of gravity. Oh, that's all good. Those are all good. So there is, um, there is one that people genuinely believe. Or claim to believe. Or claim to believe least. out of these three, yeah. The London one is so obscure that I... So I, I need to... I don't know. We haven't talked before today. No, we haven't. But the, Lon the London <laughs> one is, if you've made that up, that's genius because it's obscure enough that I'm not sure that would come out of your head. Okay. On the other hand, it does sound some a bit like a random conspiracy generator generated it. Mm, it um, does actually. I, I think the London one is, I think people believe in. You think the, that's the real one? London, I think London is offshore and the city we know as London has no real name. That's weird enough okay. that I think people believe that. Okay, is that your final answer? Yeah, the logic is, so the tree thing, um, I want that to be true, but but I don't think it's interesting enough. Uh, and the Neptune one, um, why Neptune? Like, you, none of the planets exist, sure. Um, yeah, no, I, the Neptune one, I, why, I don't think, I think picking on Neptune isn't a very conspiracy. It's not a, it's not a, a kind of interesting planet for conspiracy okay. theorists. They, right. They'd say Mars didn't exist. Okay. So yeah, I'm going with London. London does not exist. Okay, here we go. Well, we've done it again cats i know he's he'll be listening we've done it again so um the one you wanted to be true was true the, uh, okay. the, the, the devil's town in the u.s people there are all of those sorts of formations people genuinely believe that they are the petrified remains of ancient giant trees well i now believe that i think you've convinced <laughs> me okay. <laughs> that this is true, and and that's going to have implications for alien life, uh, all sorts of things. Yeah, it will I, actually. I do like. I think. I think there is a use for conspiracy theory because I think yeah. it is quite fun to play the game of if I believed that, then what? I know. Yeah. Um, uh, and it's things like, do you know you you must know about the aquatic ape hypothesis. The aquatic right? ape you know? hypothesis. Have I yeah. heard of that one? So this is an idea that bubbles around in on the fringes of biology. So the idea is that many of the things that mark us out as humans compared yes. to other primates like the fact that we're not very hairy yeah. um evolved because we were semi-aquatic creatures okay um and it's sort of a fringe idea and there's not much evidence for it it's a whole load of just so stories right so you can yeah so to, to debunk that idea uh, a bunch of research came up with the space ape hypo hypothesis which is the idea that we evolved the way we did so that we could exist in zero gravity perfect and it's just brilliant yeah. it's a useful tool inventing your own conspiracy theories is a good tool to think with oh, is well, what I'm saying. Uh, well uh, it was me that came up with the london one so chris <laughs> lintot called me a genius for coming up with that one i'll take that uh, i think cat's thinking on the neptune one was uh, some of the flat earthers and space deniers are quite well versed on on their gravity like history of gravity mm. like they knew that neptune was supposed to be there because of the the the, the, the because, because uranus was exactly in the wrong yeah place, yeah right? so yeah, that, i right. think that's what he was going with that one but um yeah, yeah no I, th I think that makes sense I, but i haven't heard many i'm gonna keep track now but i hear conspiracy theories about mars venus saturn because it's got this weird yeah, hexagon yeah. that 
people keep telling me no one can explain and I send them back papers that explain <laughs> the hexagon and you know that's not okay and they don't read um, it <laughs> but you know and Jupiter's kind of but, but no one ever comes up with conspiracy theories about Uranus and Neptune so it's they? nice yeah. that they get a shout yeah. on your show it, it is that's, it is that, that's good um, so that's now that's now six three to catch up. We are storming in the lead. We were three one down at one point. And what? Who 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 scored for our side? Um, Jim Al clearly got it wrong as well. Um, yeah. Doctor Becky scored. She got a point. Um, James from uh, was it James? From, uh, I can't remember now. Uh, oh, Amy from Vintage Space. She does a YouTube channel from called Vintage yeah, Space. I know, yeah, I know. Yeah. She scored, and I can't remember the other one, but 